Lack of representation or participation in political activities. Poverty and poor education system. Discrimination. Lack of livelihood opportunities. Environmental destructions and loss of ancestral domains. All these are the issues and problems that indigenous people struggle with. Striving and seeking rights that are blatantly disregarded and violated. Philippines is the home of more than 500 indigenous communities with diverse cultures, practices, and origins. Land is closely linked to their identity. Their economic, spiritual, and social culture are connected to their social domains. However, the ownership of their domains were somewhat disregarded. People exploit their lands and violate their rights. In response to this, the Philippines established a system for the protection of the rights of every indigenous people. One of these is the Republic Act Number no. 8371 or also known as Indigenous People Rights Act of 1997. This law was passed and approved on October 29, 1997. This act is implemented to recognize, protect, and promote the rights of indigenous cultural communities or indigenous people. This law includes right in and central domain, right in self-governance and empowerment, social justice and human rights, cultural integrity, delineation and recognition of ancestral domain, and lastly, ancestral domain fund. Indigenous cultural communities or indigenous people. It refers to a group of people who share a common bands of language, costume, tradition, and other distinctive cultural traits. They are considered to be the first inhabitants of their territory, ancestral domains, or ancestral lands. This refers to the land or territory that occupied or owns by indigenous people or through their ancestors. The ancestral lands include forest pastures, residential, agricultural, residential lots, rice terraces, and other lands. Certificate of Ancestral Domain or Ancestral Land Title This is to formally recognize the self-territory of the indigenous people. National Commission on Indigenous Peoples or NCIP This refers to the office who are obligated and responsible for the formulation and the implementation of policies, plans, and programs for the indigenous peoples. They are also responsible to recognize, protect, and preserve the rights of indigenous people. Reminder, the ancestral lands or ancestral domains that owns by indigenous people should not be sold, disposed, or destroyed. This also includes the natural resources to sustain and maintain the environment. In addition to that, it states in the Chapter 3, Section 7, Letter B, that the indigenous people are entitled to use and manage the natural resources for the future generation of their communities. Since we define the indigenous people as the first inhabitants of their territory, they have the right to return to their land if ever there are circumstances of relocation. Therefore, their land should be back from theirs in a safety manner. Any person who violates the law will be imprisoned of not less than 9 months but not more than 12 years, or a fine of not less than 100,000 nor more than 500,000 pesos, or both such fine and imprisonment upon the discretion of the court. Based on the knowledge of the indigenous people's cultural specificities and vulnerabilities, IPRA seeks to directly improve development outcomes by addressing issues relating to ethnic discrimination, political representation, as well as rights in the areas of ancestral domain, self-determination, and the practice of customary laws. If we are going to look at the identity of our native culture, respecting the rights is one of the key to understand the word unity. Their traditional knowledge is passed down through generations. Today, they continue to give shelter to some of our biodiverse areas in the Philippines. They unite to give the equality of our nature. Their beliefs are also part of the history that leads the Philippines culture to still exist or preserving as a part of the Philippine antiquity. For thousands of years, indigenous people had a big role in our country. They have been caretakers of the environment. Without land, Indigenous people have no livelihood, no identity, and no means of survival. We need to respect the principle of free. 
If their land rights are recognized, it would be an immeasurable remedy for them. An encouragement to all, we need to recognize their role in conservation and learn from their stories, treating them in a way that we want to be treated in a good way.